Welcome to the Coal Collective for the Lac de Cap de Long from St. Larry Soulan. Only just started and I already feel a bit spoiled for choice. It's hard to make my mind up what climb I wanted to do as we left St. Larry. You got Pladadet, you can follow your way up into Spain on the road we're on at the moment. We've got signs for the, uh, the Aspan, but uh, really it is a nice little mecca around here. If you leave town on the D929, you've got just under 23 k's, 5.9%, climbing up to 2,161 meters as well. It's higher than the Tourmalet. Coming up to 8Ks on the clock, bit of a nagging headwind, not going to let that spoil things. The start's actually really nice, although it's a bit more of a main road, it's gradual, about 3-5%, to so use this section really just to warm your legs up and get into a good rhythm. Nine and a half ks she passed through a little town called Fabian. It's when you've got to look out for a right-hander. Follow the signs to the Route de Lac. You actually, it looks like you should actually sort of bear around to the left and follow the main road, but you stay on the 929, and immediately the road turns to almost single width. Thought it was quite earlier on. I think it's going to be super tranquil. It's amazing how a climb's character can change in just a few hundred meters. About 11 k's in, suddenly hit with this wall of autumnal vibrance. Yellows and greens and oranges, every direction. Absolutely beautiful.
just crept above 2,000 meters. It means we've got about 150 meters up to the lake. You can see the dam in the distance. That's where we're going. It's quite a spectacle in itself. If you do take the right hander, you've got two more lakes that you've got to go and explore. You've got the Omar, the Ober, actually climb up higher than where we're going here. The whole character of the climb has changed once more. We've got these pastel like colours, 360 surrounds. what the Hort Pyrenees is all about. You may be wondering if it's so good why the Tour de France hasn't visited. The simple reason we're in a national park and reserve which means the, the ASO, the organisation, find it really difficult to get the relevant permits to bring the tour into town. Which if I'm honest isn't a bad thing. It means that amateurs like myself and you can get to explore it without all the hype. It just keeps getting better and better the higher you climb. Sure you've got to go and experience the big guns like the Tourmalet and the Abyss, but really if you haven't done the route de lac, you never experience it, you may not unlock the true beauty of the Hort Pyrenees. <laughs>